Hello and welcome back to Digital Asset Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. I want to get right into a few articles from a perspective, like my viewpoint as I read through the articles, kind of flashed through my mind. JP Morgan levels up on blockchain effort. A large international client, the bank won't name, began using JPM coin this week. JPM Morgan also branded its 400 bank cross-border payment settlement network. It's called Onyx. And what's going on with Onyx is um, they've created their interbank information network. They've created as Link, but with two I's, L-I-I-N-C. The network counts more than 400 banks, including four of Canada's six largest as clients and created a 100 employee business unit. And Onyx is to oversee the Link with two I's, JPM Coin and other ventures previously under the purview of the Blockchain Center of Excellence. And as you get into a little more of the article, Onyx, uh, basically they are launching Onyx because they believe they are shifting to a period of commercialization of these technologies, moving from research and development to something that become a real business, stated by Takis Georgia Kapoulas, the JPM Morgan's Chase's global head of wholesale payments and that was stated directly to cnbc now link with two eyes whose quorum based applications focus on troubleshooting issues with cross-border payments it launched two new products on wednesday and they confirm which allows users to validate account information who's sending payments to banks in other countries and it aims to reduce the cost of errors and potentially cut down on fraud second pro product format ensures that payments adhere to the correct currency and regulatory requirements. And if you're invested for a little bit, you understand the power of regulations. So Link, the 2i Link participants with payments expertise in particular regions can build on application on top of the network and deploy globally. Now that peer-to-peer -peer functionality could serve as a differentiator, said Christine Moy, Link with 2i's, lead executive also to link with two eyes is not open source like quorum or r3's core to network but jp morgan chase is encouraging collaboration within the network as well as expanding it to fintechs and other companies within the ecosystem so beyond link with two eyes onyx is looking at a project months away from commercial launch according to newly named onyx cer Umar Farouk, that would revamp the processing of paper checks from a system that now relies on people to physically handle at the mail at lockboxes to one that allows banks to exchange digital information associated with the check. So, using a version of blockchain with the participants being the main issuers of checks and the main operators of lockboxes, it's possible we can save 75% of the total cost for the industry today and make checks available in a matter of minutes as opposed to days, stated Georgia Kopoulos. Another section I would like to cover is... Give me a moment here. Let's find it. There it is. I'm going to kind of lead into that. The JP Morgan, too, also has taken several steps this year to build out or spin off its blockchain presence. It intended banking services this spring to cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase and Gemini, three years after the bank CEO Jamie Dimon called Bitcoin a fraud and said he would fire in a second anyone at JPM found to be trading in the digital currency. Now, here's what I want to highlight. The bank in August, it has sold Quorum. So JPM is no longer the owner, founding creator of Quorum, the blockchain platform it developed to the Brooklyn, New York-based technology firm Consensus. JPM uses Quorum to power the unit now known as Link with Two Eyes, which debuted as a pilot program in 2017. And the bank also used Quorum to test jpm coin and i'll explain my thoughts on why i think that's a little important right here if you go to consensus.net project ubin was one of the central bank digital currencies that we discussed last year the projects they were testing 
Project Ubin blockchain case study for banking in Singapore. We're going to skip right back down to where we were. During phase two, Moz partnered with Consensus Solutions and JPM's Quorum Enterprise blockchain platform. Together, they successfully demonstrated how a tokenized Singaporean dollar could function as a means of daily interbank settlement. Just tossing another one in there just to have it, you know, basically listed down on this video. Microsoft partnered with Consensus to use Ethereum to provide blockchain as a service. And I don't want to get too far off of topic from today. Yes, there's a lot of others I could toss in on this, other assets showing interoperability, but today I'm going to focus on the one. Next article, Ethereum developer consensus is to assist the French bank with its CBDC pilot. Now remember, consensus just acquired Quorum from JP Morgan Chase. Um, I really don't need to get into this because we've discussed it in a, a separate video, but only to highlight that Ethereum developer Consensus is to assist French bank with CBDC Pilot, and that Consensus just recently acquired Quorum from JP Morgan Chase. The next article, the headline is really it. The article discusses what it means more so than the physical headline, but the headline has been literally stated and that's why I grabbed this one. And again, all of the links of every video we produce, the articles will be provided in the description below for your further reading and research. If you're interested, central banks unveil a framework and plans for hybrid digital currency is really the thing is hybrid now zenfin which is a fork of quorum which was recently acquired from consensus zenfin's hybrid blockchain technology hybrid is the key phrase that we wanted to get into as i'm sharing my perspective and my thoughts on this zenfin's protocol is built upon a paradigm of consortium blockchains this makes them different from both private permission blockchains and public blockchains. Zenfin offers both. In other words, institutions can connect their private network to Zenfin, but have their transactions validated on a public chain, forking the Quorum blockchain. The open source Quorum blockchain was developed by JP Morgan, and it is a private permission blockchain built on the Ethereum network. And Quorum again is what JP Morgan, as we stated in this uh, channel for, you know, the year that we've been open last year, we've gone through that very extensively and how JP ran a quorum quorum is, uh, had a fork called Zenfin, which was the hybrid and hybrid technology we've shown since last year is the focus on where the central banks are headed. Zenfin's XDC blockchain is a fork from quorum and we'll talk about XDC later, but for now, just know that they made some significant changes to the quorum protocol. One of them is that they replaced the proof of work consensus mechanism with proof of stake. And we understand the difference of proof of work and proof of stake. If you follow this channel and proof of consensus, etc. The smart contract functionality on Ethereum is essential to Zenfin's success, and the hybrid nature of the Quorum blockchain is ideal for a large number of enterprise use cases. The bodies well for uh, financial institutions and governments because they'll never want everything to be transparent. For example, a bank can keep its data private on the permission side while the record of transactions can exist on the public side, and that's something we've gotten into recently as well how there are two different sides and basically can be chosen what is public and what is private. So here's the lowdown. Any Ethereum smart contracts can run on Zenfin because it is a hybrid of the Ethereum public blockchain and the Quorum private chain. Again, that is the power of being a hybrid. As expected, the blockchain's public state supports things like cryptocurrency, dApps, and wallet services. The private state protects sensitive data from the outside world, so Zenfin seeks to combine the benefits of decentralization within the security and high transaction speeds of the private blockchain, 
All participants will make up the public blockchain, whereas the private blockchain will restrict participation to authorized members only. And then we get into Zenfin XDC network will integrate Chainlink oracles to power new trade finance use cases. And when I think of TradeLink, we'll get into that shortly. Zenfin partnered with AIX, a leading AI trading platform backed by major regulated financial institutions. And Zenfin will provide live beta environment for pilot testing the creation, trading, and integration of tokenized bonds. Now, back where we were stating Chainlink oracles to power new trade finance use cases. What happens here? We have SIA integrates Quant's overledger for blockchain interoperability. Headlines are giving everything we need to discuss the thought process that I was having with these articles. Quant Network and SIA successfully tested blockchain interoperability, and the breakthrough was achieved by integrating Quant Networks overledger technology into the SIA chain private blockchain infrastructure to enable cross-platform applications and services in Europe and globally. Now here's where it all starts connecting. You can see the interoperability and the power of the Zenfin hybrid technology. Zenfin signs on to the R3 Corda for enterprise blockchain apps. Now here's where it gets really exciting. SIA chain and Quant are also part of R3's Corda and so is Ripple's XRP, and so is Zenfin. So by Zenfin signing on to the R3 Corda for enterprise blockchain apps, so my thoughts were that Zenfin is part of the R3 Corda. It is a fork of Quorum, and it's connecting to Chainlink with Oracles. It has smart contract capability. It is a hybrid, and it does end up connecting back to consensus. So with the Ethereum developer, consensus to assist the French bank with CBDC pilot. My thought was, will XDC uh, connect to them? And I guess time will tell, but either which way, Zenfin is still moving forward with its hybrid technology. And I believe it is one of the upcoming digital assets that will shine over the next you know, few years with Ripple's XRP and Stellar's XLM right beside it. I would find Zenfin's XDC. All right, those are just some quick thoughts on, on these recent articles. And again, remember, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. And I'm going to leave you with a final thought. Be willing to go alone. Many who started with you won't finish with you. Much love, and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>